Hi, welcome again to ingvid.com. My name is Adam. Today I'm talking about a very interesting topic because, for example, in Toronto right now it's very, very cold. I'm thinking about traveling. I would love to go somewhere hot to get away from this winter. So when I travel, I have, of course, to make travel arrangements. So here we have a list of words, a list of things that you must think about before you go on a trip to a different country. So we're going to go over each of these. We're going to start with booking and reservation. Now, many people think that this is more or less the same, which it is. To book something or to reserve something means to keep a place, to keep your place. You book a flight. You book a hotel room. Generally speaking, you make a reservation at a restaurant. You make a booking with a travel agency or with a hotel, with accommodations, any type of accommodation. Speaking of, accommodations are hotel, motel, hostel, B&B, bed and breakfast, all kinds of accommodations. Make sure you have a booking before you go. So your place is safe, it's kept for you. When you arrive, it's all good. Next, when you're at your destination, the place you're going to, you might want to rent a car. Okay, sorry, this is accommodation. One thing I wanted to also make sure, accommodations. Without the S, accommodation means something different, okay? Accommodations is where you're going to sleep. And you might want to rent a car. You can also hire a car. Means the same thing. British people generally use hire more. North Americans use rent more often. Next, you have to think about your baggage. Suitcase, luggage, bags, anything you're carrying with you. You might have check-in baggage. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this guy. Check-in baggage and carry-on baggage. Check-in baggage means you give it to the airline. They put it under the plane. You pick it up at your destination. Carry-on means carry-on. So you carry it on your shoulder onto the plane, okay? In your carry-on, you have to be careful. It has to be small. You can't have liquids because of security and all that stuff. So things that you can't put in your carry-on, you must put in your check-in baggage and give to the airline. Next, when you get to the airport, assuming you're flying, you will have to do a few things that concern the word boarding. Before you board your plane, get on your plane, you will get a boarding pass that lets you pass through security and into the airport. On the boarding pass, you will see your boarding time. This is when you get on the plane and your boarding gate, the place in the airport where you're going to get on your plane before takeoff. Okay. We can also use this for a train. You board a train, you get a boarding pass with a boarding time and generally a boarding platform. Okay, so boarding, getting on your vehicle, whatever vehicle that might be. You will also generally need to get a visa to many countries. Now, a visa is something that you use to get into a country. It gives you permission to stay in that country. But be aware, many places, if you're going through another country, so for example, I'm going to country C via country B. Via means by way of or through. So I might need a transit visa. It means I can go there, switch planes, and keep going on my journey. But I'm still in another country. I need a transit vi visa. Excuse me. <clears throat> also, make sure you're prepared to spend money as soon as you get to your destination. If you're going to a different country, that country will be using a different currency type of money. In Canada, we have Canadian dollar. America has American dollar. Okay, for things like that. In Europe, you need the euro. So make sure you have some of the currency before you go or purchase it at the airport or at the destination you're going to. Some countries, especially hot countries, are not very, you don't have clean water or there may be lots of diseases or other things you need to worry about, mosquitoes, malaria, etc. You might need to get vaccination. 
you might need to get a shot or you might need to get pills or anything like that to protect you from whatever troubles there are. Vaccinations are sometimes called inoculation. Same thing. It's a pill or it's a shot, a needle. When you purchase your ticket, the travel agent will probably send you an itinerary. I itinerary is a plan. You're leaving this day, this time, this airport, arriving this airport, this day, this time. Itinerary is also a plan if you're doing like a package tour with excursions. Excursion means an outing. You have planned outings. You're going different places. You're going to do different things. If you're going to Africa, you're probably going to go on safari. That is a type of excursion. You're going to go somewhere and do this, this and that on this, this and that day. Okay, so your itinerary is a plan, a written plan of what you're going to do. Then, if you buy anything overseas, when you come home, you might have to declare to the customs officer what you bought, how much you spent, what are you bringing back home with you, right? So you have to make a declaration. Be prepared to declare anything that you bought, because if you get caught, not going to be very good. You might uh, get into a bit of trouble with the customs officer. And then, once you do all these things, pack your bag, don't forget your bathing suit, sunscreen. I need sunscreen every time I travel because I'm kind of pale. And all, then you're ready to go, right? Anyway, if you need to work on these words a little bit more, go to ingvid.com. I'll be putting up a quiz there for you to work on these words. And come visit us again. Bye.